Watch as the ribbon is cut at Hollywood's newest neighborhood park. Meet a very special resident on Hollywood Beach. And guess who came to town? Welcome to Hollywood Full Circle, a 360 degree look at news and happenings in the city of Hollywood. I'm Raylan Story. We begin with a quick update on Hurricane Irma recovery efforts. Crews are working each and every day in the city's streets and alleyways, removing the final hurricane debris. They're also working on our parks and golf courses, trying to get rid of all that's left from Hurricane Irma. There was an estimated 350,000 cubic yards of hurricane debris throughout Hollywood after Hurricane Irma. Heading into the holidays, nearly all of that debris has been removed from Hollywood's major thoroughfares, streets and alleys. Debris removal contractors will continue over the next several weeks as they complete the debris removal throughout the city. Code compliance officers remind you not to place out for collection items such as construction debris, tires, or hazardous materials. For information on collections and proper waste disposal, visit the city's website at www.hollywoodfl.org. In an effort to help property owners quickly make repairs to damage they sustain from Hurricane Irma, the building division has waived permit fees on certain projects since the storm. The 90-day grace period is offered as a way to assist residents and commercial businesses in restoring their property and getting back to normal operations. If you need to make repairs, don't delay. The 90-day grace period ends December 24th. Progress with a purpose continues in Florida's Hollywood. Some big changes are underway along A1A on Hollywood Beach. The Hollywood Community Redevelopment Agency recently broke ground on the A1A Complete Street Project and now construction crews and heavy equipment have moved in to start the transformation. You know, restoring this road, rehabilitating it, and resurfacing it is really going to make a significant uh, impact. The Complete Streets project includes reconfiguring A1A traffic lanes and redirecting traffic on certain portions of Surf Road to create a safer, more efficient corridor for all modes of transit, including pedestrians, bicycles, automobiles, and public transportation. To learn more about this exciting and transformative project on Hollywood Beach, visit www.hollywoodbeach.com. HollywoodCRA.org. Residents recently came out to cut the ribbon and celebrate the completely renovated Henry Graham Park here in the Liberia neighborhood of Hollywood. I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside and give them a sense of pride. What a beautiful morning this is really for the city of Hollywood and, and for all of us uh, to celebrate and commemorate this newly renovated park. A lot of what you see around you here is thanks to Henry Graham and his determination to see a neighborhood that could uh, reach you know, the ultimate heights in terms of what we expect for ourselves, not accepting standards that are lower than what we want and know that we can achieve for ourselves. So Henry, such a great uh, opportunity here for us to recognize you know, all that you've done through dedicating this park, which uh, has been here, but now is newly renovated with such great amenities. Uh, as a mayor, certainly proud, and on behalf of the Hollywood City Commission, thank you for all that you've done, and this makes us happy. Uh, because we know it's well deserved. This is what happens when you continue to talk. You don't have to threaten, you just talk. This park is long overdue. Uh, I, I thank you all for your patience. I thank you all for your tenacity to keep pushing for it to happen. And I am grateful that it's here today. Um, there's more and more things that we would like to see happen in this area. But you, the community, it's what makes a difference. We all have to work together. That's the reason this is here. That's the reason my hat's off to that man right there, Henry Graham, for having the uh, longevity of dealing with the rest of us to making sure the community gets his needs. Henry, thank you, well deserved. I just want to really say that uh, I'm overjoyed. I experienced his passion for the community during the first years of our marriage. 
Every day I had a list of the needs of others to give to him as soon as he came home from Liberia Economic and Social Development. He would just take the list, turn around, and go back to take care of the needs of the community. Congratulations, Henry. Your legacy moves on. Follow your dreams, take one step at a time. Don't settle for less, just continue to climb. Follow your dream, if you stumble, don't stop. Or lose sight of your goal, press on to the top. For only on top can you see the whole view. Can you see what you've done and what you can do? Will you then have the vision to seek something new? Press on and follow your dreams by Amanda Bradley. Thank you. The park has a lot of great new features, including playground equipment, a walking path with benches, state-of-the-art exercise equipment, and a splash pad for kids to cool off when it's hot in the summer. Coming up, shopping small in Hollywood for the holidays. Hello, my name is Casey Anderson, head golf professional at Orangebrook Golf and Country Club. Today we're here to talk about this wonderful game of golf. The object is to simply get this golf ball into the hole in the least amount of strokes as possible. The first fundamental that's important is to get the right grip. To get the right grip, we need to hold the club light in the hands, but in the fingers. So if I, if I grip the club like I'm giving a, the club a handshake, that'll get the club in the fingers. Rather than going sideways, the club moves up and down, all with the right grip. That's going to give you the, the right feeling of how to use your wrist. I hope that helps for the next time you play. Stay tuned for future tips. Have a great day. Visit the Downtown Hollywood Entertainment District and let your taste buds explore the diverse culinary scene featuring talented local chefs and cuisines from around the world. Wander through trendy art galleries and marvel at over 20 outdoor murals that make up the Downtown Hollywood Mural Project. Make sure to catch monthly events like Art Walk on the third Saturday of every month with over 50 local vendors, live music, and lots of unique photo opportunities. You'll love what you find in Florida's Hollywood. support one of the 10,000 businesses located here in Hollywood and shop small this holiday season. More than 50% of the dollars you spend at local stores and businesses stay in our community. And while you're out shopping, the Hollywood Police Department reminds you to stay alert and be aware of your surroundings. Park in well-lighted areas, place gifts in your trunk out of sight from would-be thieves, and keep your windows closed and vehicle doors locked. Hollywood police officers are always on the job keeping the city safe. Here's an insider's look at what it's like to be an officer in the department. I'm a mom, a wife, a daughter, and a friend. When I put on this badge, I'm still all of those things. But I'm also a law enforcement officer. Typical day as a Hollywood police officer can become anything but typical. Whether you're on patrol, a school resource officer, part of a special unit or SWAT, each day is another opportunity. An opportunity to make a difference in the lives of others by improving the safety of the community. Our number one priority is to take bad people who do terrible things and take them off the street so they can't do them again. Oh. Working for the Hollywood Police Department is about fostering relationships between the community and the police department so that issues can be resolved before they become a crisis. How may I help you? Yes, ma'am. I'm here to pick up a police report. More than 400 sworn officers and civilian employees are focused every day on the singular mission of working in partnership with the community, providing innovative and effective policing to prevent crime and disorder while embracing community-based policing. The department is growing and more officers and civilians are needed to fulfill this mission. What kind of person are we looking for to wear the HPD badge? Ma'am, ma'am, you've got your purse. Thank you. People who like to work on neighborhood and quality of life issues. 
people who want to help kids. People who know that we are stronger together. Have a good one, guys. People who realize it's the day-to-day -day details that keep our standards high. People who are committed to physical fitness. People who want the challenge of a specialized assignment. Once you complete the hiring process, including background checks, interviews, psychological and physical tests, you will spend five to six months in the police academy. Once you complete the academy, you'll take specialized police training of Hollywood's policies and procedures, and then you'll hit the road. The Hollywood Police Department is searching for individuals of high moral character, committed to maximizing their potential. Committed to serving the community and willing to go the extra mile. Do you want to make a difference? Join the Hollywood Police Department. If you are interested in joining the force, call 954-921-3216 for more information. An important effort the police department has spearheaded is partnering with county agencies and local hospitals to combat a growing problem, opioids on our streets. A granule the size of a grain of salt is all it takes to overdose on the highly addictive opioid called fentanyl. Drug dealers are capitalizing on its addictive powers, adding it to heroin with deadly consequences. The drugs are so potent, they're so strong, that it doesn't really matter what tolerance you have. If you get the wrong batch, it will shut down your respiration immediately. If there's not help available, that means that you'll die. With posters and brochures in hand that warn of the danger, Hollywood police officers are working to get the message out, help is available. The city's police, fire rescue, and public affairs departments have partnered with Memorial and Kindred Hospitals, United Way of Broward County, the Broward Sheriff's Office, and other county agencies to help break the cycle of addiction. This is an effort really to help those people that, that are addicted to drugs and help prevent future addicts by making an awareness campaign of the dangers involved. From outpatient programs to medical detox to support group meetings, help is a phone call away. Addiction is a family disease. Uh, we encourage everyone to call 211 if they're looking for help. And uh, the folks on the other end of that line will certainly help that crisis. Statewide, there's been an 80% increase in opioid overdose calls. In Broward County, 225 people have died from an opioid overdose. We have two people a day, every day in Broward County, dying from an overdose of fentanyl and heroin. We have 60 to 70 people a week overdosing that do get revived in the emergency rooms or by first responders on the street. In 2016, Hollywood Fire Rescue administered over 900 doses of Narcan, three times more than just two years earlier. Narcan is the drug first responders use to revive an unconscious person. It immediately reverses the effects of the overdose. We start off giving them a two milligram dosage. Uh, in years past, when it was just heroin, uh, that would work, but now that it's laced with fentanyl, we know that it's 50 to 100 times stronger than uh, just heroin. We see much greater overdose deaths in many other parts of, of the country, but we want to do our part to prevent it from getting to that point here. Help is just a call away. Call 211. Coming up next, take a look at a wildly popular action packed sport from Brazil. It's called foot volley, and it's kicking its way back to Hollywood Beach. Putting up the decorations is a wonderful way to get in the holiday spirit, but a few safety precautions must be kept in mind. The first thing is to pick the proper tree. It's a good idea to just simply run your hand along the branch, and if any of the needles fall off, there's a good chance the tree is really dried out, so you might not want to purchase that. The next important thing is every day the tree should be watered to prevent it from drying out. A dried out Christmas tree along with malfunctioning bulbs could easily turn into a fire. 
carefully check the lights before you put them up. Make sure they're not broken. Make sure that the cord itself is not frayed. And you want to make sure that you're not using a lot of extension cords because they could overload the circuit. You want to purchase UL surge protectors to be safe. The lights should be turned out anytime you leave your home. Even when you're sleeping at night, turn the lights off. The City of Hollywood Fire Rescue and Beach Safety wishes you a safe and happy holiday season. Visit Downtown Hollywood and let your taste buds explore the diverse culinary scene featuring talented local chefs and cuisines from around the world. Let the kids have fun playing at the playground in Anniversary Park or the splash pad at Arts Park. Wander through trendy art galleries and marvel at over 20 outdoor murals that make up the Downtown Hollywood Mural Project. Make sure to catch monthly events like Art Walk on the third Saturday of every month or the Dream Car Classic Car Show the first Sunday of the month. You'll love what you find in Florida's Hollywood. I want you to serve. The action-packed sport foot volley will be kicking up the sand on Hollywood Beach again. Competitive foot volley combines elements of beach volleyball and soccer into an exciting game that keeps spectators on the edge of their seat. This year's foot volley tournament takes place February 22nd through the 25th in front of the Margaritaville Hollywood Beach Resort. The tournament runs from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. each day and admission is free. It was a gingerbread jamboree on Hollywood Beach, kicking off the holiday season with the 62nd annual Candy Cane Parade. Families and thousands of your closest friends enjoyed festive floats, marching bands, dancers, and baton twirlers as they paraded down the Hollywood Beach Broadwalk. Santa and Mrs. Claus also made a special trip all the way from the North Pole. The holidays usually mean kids are out of school and looking for something to do. One suggestion might be to take part in the Hollywood Beach Suite. This is an event that has an immediate positive impact on the environment. Take a look at how kids can help keep Hollywood looking beautiful. Just after sunrise, volunteers begin to assemble at Charnel Park on the world famous Hollywood Beach Broadwalk, ready to lend a hand for the monthly Hollywood Beach Suite. Good morning. Good morning. Volunteers turn in their registration forms, get their gloves and garbage bags, and set out in search of trash, litter, and debris along the seven mile stretch of Sandy Beach. I wanted to volunteer to give back, and I really like being outside and keeping our beaches clean. The Beach Sweep is part of the Department of Public Works Let's Keep Hollywood Beautiful initiative. The extra volunteer hands sweep the beach of debris in an effort to assist crews with their extensive cleanup routine. We thought volunteering at the beach would be really great for our community. Um, we think it's important to maintain and, and preserve our beaches. All it takes is one cap, cigarette butt, plastic bag, or straw. The impact of debris on local marine life and the Florida native wildlife that calls Hollywood Beach home is significant. I hope that like marine life and animals that come to the beach won't be as harmed by all the trash that's on the beach. And so I wanted to make sure that there's no trash, so I wanted to do the same for other people. Help keep Hollywood beautiful. Consider volunteering for the monthly Hollywood Beach Suite. For more information or to download the registration form, visit hollywoodfl.org and search Beach Suite or call 954-967-4526. Once you finish sweeping the beach, take a walk north on the Broadwalk to 4414 Surf Road and meet Captain. She's made Hollywood Beach her home as part of a collaboration between Nova Southeastern University and Broward County Parks and Recreation. With a 27,000 gallon pool of 78 degree salt water all to herself, Captain the Green Sea Turtle is at home at the Marine Environmental Education Center at the Carpenter House on the north end of Hollywood Beach. One of our, our key features here at, at the center is Captain. Captain is a green sea turtle who was injured about six years ago. She was struck by a boat. After the accident, Captain was left with partial paralysis and a buoyancy issue combated by weights attached to her shell. She will always need these weights in order to be able to dive and swim like a normal turtle. Um, so that's why she's always going to be a permanent captive animal is because she needs somebody to maintain those weights. Um, they are just epoxy on, so over time they'll, um, they may fall off and as she gets larger we might have to adjust the amount of weight on them. 
This sassy teenager is a little over two feet long and weighs in at around 50 pounds. Her healthy appetite has her well on her way to the more than 400 pounds of a full-grown adult. Her favorite time of the day, I would say, is feeding time. So that happens three times throughout the day. She gets uh, green leafy lettuce, romaine lettuce, cucumber, and bell pepper. She does get a little bit of seafood in her diet. Captain Saltwater Pool, original to the Carpenter House property, has been recast and an extensive filtration system installed to support marine life. The compound's former cabana house is now an interpretive center where visitors can learn about sea turtles, coral reefs, invasive species, marine debris, and South Florida's coastal environment. We get a lot of walk-in visitors here, as well as people coming here as a destination to check out um, the facility and to meet Captain. The main house was built by Lieutenant Carpenter back in 1941, and visitors stepped back in time in the fully restored main kitchen. A thoroughly modern meeting room serves as a classroom for large group tours. We have public programming at 10.30 and 3.30 every day, in addition to the educational programming for different school groups to come out. How long do you think she can hold her breath? Two hours. Nice job. I thought it was four <laughs> We also welcome summer camps. Uh, in different scout organizations and various other groups. With a goodwill ambassador like Captain, a visit to the Marine Environmental Education Center on Hollywood Beach is a great way for kids and adults to reconnect with nature and the protected environment that's right in their own backyard. We are on the beach and it's, you know, it's a great location where people can come enjoy the center and then head towards the Hollywood Broadwalk or head out to the beach or anything like that and really make a day out of out of their trip here to the center. The center is open to the public Tuesday through Saturday from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. Admission is free but donations are accepted and help to offset operational costs and support local environmental programming. And that'll do it for this edition of Hollywood Full Circle. Stay up to date on all things Hollywood on the city's website, www.hollywoodfl.org, and follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.